Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, we are talking about the Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mel Thompson. So if you wanna see a few looks, I think four looks that I did with this palette and hear my thoughts on the palette, then definitely stay tuned. Alright you guys, so we have the Tiny Marvels palette. I was so excited when I saw that um, Mel Thompson was doing this eyeshadow palette. I saw um, her in one of her videos. I think, I don't know if it was a full face or something. I don't know. But the eyeshadow look was fantastic. I went to the description and it was not there like her you know details on the eye shadow so i'm like something's in the works okay she's either holding off on reviewing something that's going to be coming out something new or she's coming out with something herself and then a couple days later i saw the you know the announcement and stuff so congratulations first of all to mel thompson i love her channel so many things that i have in my collection are because of mel thompson okay so yeah facts now the tiny marbles palette 15 beautiful shades of mattes and shimmers okay six metallics and the rest are mattes and you can see it's like a very i don't know kind of like a muted toned overall tone of the eyeshadow palette uh we've got a lot of neutrals i think it's all neutral quite honestly neutral to cool tones in this palette and um sure you all know she um derived the color story based on i think it's the praying mantis tattoo that's on her neck like that was kind of her inspiration and then of course we've got all the the insects on the cover that are tattoo artists designed for her and all the names of the pet shadows are inspired by um like insects and things like that so just some quick background there uh this palette is 52 dollars sydneygrace.com of course you can use um discount codes to get you know some percentage off um so if you have somebody's discount code you want to use then feel free i don't have one i mean i would love to have one but i don't okay so <laughs> so yeah there it is now um so i did use a discount code and got some money off now this is an interesting palette when it first was released i saw a lot of commentary that um people of color were thinking that this might not work for us for deeper skin tones that some of the shades would be ashy and things like that and that they were going to skip it and things and whenever i see comments like that i am always intrigued and want to buy a palette more so that i can try it out for myself and just see you know is the speculation actually true so in addition to the fact that i really enjoy mel thompson's content and wanted to support her collaboration that was another reason why i was really excited to try this palette um so and that's how i got into cool tones in the first place with the abh sultry palette which is one of my favorite palettes from abh it was so many cool tones and people were saying no this is not for deeper skin tones and i was like i gotta try that palette and then now i love cool tone eyeshadow so anyways God, that was a ramble, but um, I'll put timestamps. I'll put timestamps in the description box, okay? I got a little time today. My um, husband's mother is watching my child, so I guess I'm a little bit excited, okay? A little chatty. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some swatches in the video right now so you can see what they're looking like. swatches now let's get into the looks all right so for the first two looks i'm gonna walk you through them you know talking and then the other two looks i did yesterday and um so i might do a voiceover but they might just be like a really abbreviated um 
with some music playing in the background. So that's how those other two are gonna go. Now, all right, so we're gonna start with my right eye, which is gonna be on the left side of your screen. Um, I went in on an unset eye, but I do have my uh, concealer down as my base. So I definitely wanted to show you guys a uh, walking stick. So that is this shade here. It is like a taupey, um, olivey brown. Um, and so I put that in the transition area, but kind of left the outer uh, V, like the outer edge, outer corner blank. So I put walking stick all over the transition area. And as you can see, it's not too much different from my skin tone, but it's not ashy. It is, you know, that brown, that like taupey brown shade. So it has a slight hint of gray to it, but it is, you know, brown. It's actually a little deeper than my skin tone, um, but not too much. I wouldn't use that as like an outer V shade or like a deepening shade or anything like that. It's a pretty decent um, neutral to cool toned transition shade. All right, so I put that all over the transition area. And then I went in with Death Moth. That's the shade down here. This is a more neutral like brown, like a me medium toned brown, brown, brown. And I put that on the outer V, like right in that space that I kind of left blank because I wanted to see if I would see a difference between Death Moth and Walk and Stick that we put in the transition area. A very subtle difference. It, um, it's a neutral tone, neutral to cool toned, medium brown. So once again, I'm not getting too much difference between those two shades and my skin tone, but it is slightly darker. It did provide a little bit more depth to the eye look. And so if you're looking for something that is going to um, work daytime, like, you know, you're my skin tone, and you're looking for something that's not too dramatic in the crease, but provide you a little bit of depth, you can use those two shades, I think, in my opinion. All right, this, these are all my opinions, okay? All right, so that was cool. It was cool. <laughs> um, and so next, to just add more depth, you know, more. I wanted more depth, wanted a little bit more smoke, I went in with Spider. So that's the darkest shade in the palette. It is extremely, extremely dark. It's like, hi. Oh yes, yes, I'll bring him. I took Spider and deepened up that outer corner. Spider is the dark brown in the palette. It's a neutral, really, really dark brown. Like it's brown black, I think. <laughs> um, so I think it's, a nice shade um, you know it's a brown black but I think it's a really nice shade it works really nicely so um, deep it out that outer corner a bit with that and then um, I went in with scarab right here it is the duochrome in the palette it is also called red chameleon on the Sydney Grace website um, but this is the name of it here in this palette and I took that to do a halo eye effect and I used a brush and just, you know, put that on the outer corner, um, you know, on the inner, right, on the outer portion of the um, halo eye, a little bit onto the outer V. And I carried that shade across the top of my crease over onto the inner third of my lid. And I left a little, you know, area open a little mound I guess <laughs> a little half circle open on the lid and I popped fire butts right on the inside of that halo with my finger and you know did the intensity on the end center and then you know just as the shade disappeared you know as I used up the shade that was on my finger then I you know patted to blend out on the other on the sides of that halo okay and then on the lower lash line I took death moth that is the you know more neutral matte brown or medium brown shade in the palette and I swept that on the lower lash line all over the lower lash line and for the inner corner I also took fire butts put that on the inner corner and that is oh well, nope it's not the look that's not the look okay <laughs> I took spider again on a um, pencil brush and I did take that on the lower lash line really close to the lashes trying to get more of like a you know smudged liner effect and then I took that same um, spider and went across my top lid to get a you know smudged out liner effect using that shadow. I think it looks really nice okay I think this look is very pretty I left the brow bone blank because I just like the feed 
the you know the transition of the eyeshadow into okay to the brow bone you know to my you know skin tone so i thought it was pretty cute so i left the look that way and here we go so i finished off the look with my pat mcgrath extreme black eyeliner i did a tight line with this and i went in with my voluminous eyeshadow base by l'oreal and then my mascara is the stila triple x magnum mascara so this shade here i think it's really pretty um yeah it's just a really pretty you know nature tones with the green with the you know i feel like that's like a white gold type of shade um and very pretty very very pretty so i think the you know um walk and stick and death moth i think they are pretty much pretty similar they're not giving us too much depth um for deeper skin tones but I mean they look nice on this they look nice in the eyeshadow looks that i have used them in next eye for my left eye on your the right side of your screen i wanted to see how the looks or see how the shadows played on top of the abh eyeshadow primer because it is white so i got that more you know white out base white looking base on my on my lids of course it's not set and of course the eyeshadow uh primer the abh base is not set um, so let's get into this look. I went in with Flutterby. That is, this is, I think it's a play on the word butterfly, but it's Flutterby. Okay, I uh, took that pink on a flat smudger brush type. I won't say, I won't say a flat smudger brush, but a flatter brush. And I put that on the inner third of the lid. And then on a fluffier brush, I took that same shade and just blended that up into the transition area right above the inner third of my lid. And then on the next third of the lid, I took Love Bug. This is like a muted um, medium purple shade. I think this is a beautiful shade to just like go all over the lid. I, so I would really enjoy doing that look. I didn't do that today, obviously, but I went love bug on the inner third, kind of like the middle of the lid. And I also went with that same fluffy brush, you know, wiped it off, took love bug into the transition area and then also to the rest of the transition area as well. Um, just basically, you know, finishing up the transition area with love bug, okay? And then for the final third of the eye, I went in with Bugaboo, this shade here. And that is a nice, um, it's like a grungy, burgundy type shade. Uh, and that is another shade that will provide you some depth in the palette on your lids, but it's not gonna, it's not giving too much depth. It's not giving a lot of depth, but it's giving you some depth. So I did provide, provide that. I did apply that on the outer V of the lid and, you know, just to provide depth and, you know, continue that gradient from the, Flutter by to Bugaboo. Okay, so I've got some depth there. Took that on the you know final third of the lid into the outer V and a little bit more into the crease just to provide some more um, you know dimension to the look, to the lick, to the look. Okay. All right, and so for my lower lash line, I took Love Bug, swept that all over the lower lash line. It provides a hint of, you know, purple color to the lower lash line. And then I decided I wanted more depth on the eyes, okay? I just, I like a lot of depth sometimes on my eye looks. So I did go in with Spider. I was able to just take that and kind of do a little bit of a liner just to basically the first you know the outer half of my lid and then i didn't take it any farther um that spider shade so i did a little bit of a sweeping motion to kind of blend that in there and provide a little bit more depth but i didn't want the spider shade to take over bugaboo i still wanted to have that purple burgundy type effect on the outer corner so i just uh, used it a little bit okay all right and then for my inner corner i went in with marvel which is like a rose gold shade so i put that on the inner corner took that down to the lower lash line, I would say for the inner third, and then also brought that up a little bit onto the lid, but you know, faded that out into flutter by that we have in the transition area. And I also took marble on the brow bone as well to provide a little bit of highlight there. So those are these looks, all right? And then I have two additional looks that I'm going to let you look at right now.
in trying all of these looks and then I did two other looks that I didn't film I just you know was playing and I just wanted to get a little feel of it before I came on camera so I had with all those looks that I've done I have played with every shadow in this palette and let's talk about my thoughts I think the, every look that I have created with this palette is very pretty I enjoy them okay I enjoy the shadows in this palette Sydney Grace does a great job they do a great job with their eyeshadows so um, the quality that you may have come to expect and experience from Sydney Grace is still the same with this palette I I enjoy it um, this is something that I really you know I'm having a fun time playing with okay um, now I feel like the shades are a little bit, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this palette. I really don't. I did not have an idea. The only thing that I knew I wanted to do was play with this quad here, with the <laughs> Spider Bugaboo, uh, Metal Hawk, and Love Bug. I thought those four shades would create a beautiful look, but I wasn't sure about how I wanted to use the rest. Um, so, you know, that can be a little bit of intimidating. I hope that the shade, the, the looks that I did in this video have been helpful. There have been a ton of looks going around, a ton of video, ton of videos and tutorials going around with this palette. Unfortunately, I haven't seen anybody that's deep skin toned, you know, do looks with it. I've only seen like light, medium, medium, deep um, skin tones do looks with this. Nobody of my skin tone. So that's the only drawback. Um, if you're looking for tutorials so hopefully the ones I've done have been helpful now the main I saw like I said before concern that the shades would be ashy I wanted to definitely go in with these pastel shades like this um, mantis um, walking stick and death moth I really was concerned I was like I was I wasn't concerned but I really was curious about how those shades would show up on my skin tone um, because they of course going to show up on Mel and all the other you know lighter fair light medium skin tones a lot different than they're going to show up on me so um but i'm happy to note happy to you know report that they don't show up ashy on me at all i really like the intensity that i get with mantis it's really really beautiful it shows up like a nice mint green shade on me on my skin tone and the intensity is very much so there like it doesn't fade into some you know strange looking green. I think it still looks as bright and green on me as it does in the palette. Um, Tree Hopper, this shade here, I think that's a nice tone for the brow bone for me. So even though I didn't put it, I didn't put it on this eyebrow or, you know, this brow bone, I can. And I think I did in one of the looks that I did yesterday, but I'm gonna just do it right now. Okay, so. Okay, so I think that provides a nice, you know, brow bone highlight that it's like a, a beigey uh, tone. It's very, I think it's, I think it's nice. So I, I do have feedback like uh, that things that could have been improved for me, for my skin tone, for, you know, deeper skin tones. These, this walking stick and death moth, there's not too much differentiation in my there's a subtle differentiation but it's not too much of a differentiation between those two shades on the lids on the transition area so i think either one of these like i said before they're good transition shades cool toned or cool neutral to cool toned transition transition shades for my skin tone there's not gonna be, like i said not gonna be a lot of depth with these there you can get some depth with death moth and that's gonna be like more of an everyday type of neutral natural type eyeshadow um, effect with that shade there if you don't mind having basically one 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 deepening shade like really intense deepening shade for your eyeshadow looks then I don't think you would be disappointed with this I like that you know there's there are more I would say the shades are a little bit more grungy so you can take this into like an everyday setting so I don't think any of these shades would be too too much for everyday except for you know mantis and this uh, shade here level what is it called jewel bee did I use jewel bee yesterday 
I don't know if I used that in my looks that I recorded, but this shows up really nice in purple too. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. So it's not gonna, hmm. I'm getting a little bit, oh, it does look purple. But that's intense because it's just continuing to flow. All right. So I added a little bit of that um, Jewel B shade, which is a nice lavender. And that shows up really nicely too. Granted, I did just put it on top of another eye look, you know, the other eye look. But I want you guys to see that. It's pretty. I used it in another look, but I didn't record it. So, um, so Jewel B and Mantis, you know, you can't expect that to be like your neutral, you know, natural type everyday uh, shadow shades. But everything else I think in here works for everyday and stuff. So it's just a matter of whether or not you like the color story, which I say which I said for my previous, you know, Sydney Grace eyeshadow palette review. And I think I'll get a decent amount of use out of it. It's just a matter if I just stop buying eyeshadow palettes, maybe I can focus on one and use it, you know, for more than a week. <laughs> but this is really nice. I, I, I think it looks nice. Um, you guys let me know how you think the looks turned out and how the shadows performed on my skin tone. You saw how the, you know, Walking Stick and Death Moth played up. So. You know it's up to you what else did i want to say so i would say some constructive criticism for the brand in regards to their eyeshadow palettes um because it seems like this this it was i had the same commentary um i think on enduring love i have that right here yeah i mean I had a similar commentary on Enduring Love. We've got basically two shades, even in the deep version of this palette, two shades that are going to be those more depth adding um, shades for deeper skin tones. So um, I would say that maybe adding some more deep shades that are going to deepen for deeper skin tone. So there's a lot of shades that are gonna provide great depth, like this Walking Stick and this Death Moth and this palette are gonna provide a great amount of depth for, of course, light skin tones, fair skin tones, medium, blah, blah, blah. But we need a little bit more, maybe one more, two more deepening shades, you know, for deeper skin tones. And even when they're making like their deep versions of the palette, um, Maybe it might, I don't know if they have anybody that is an actual deep skin tone that's, you know, trying the shadows on their, um, trying the shadows on their eyes, you know, if not, that would be very helpful in curating these palettes. Um, now if people were saying that they should have come out with a deep palette for this, um, not sure that would have been nice, um, but they came out with a deep palette for Enduring Love and I still think they only had like two shades but if you include the metallics then i guess they had three or four shades that you could use um in your you know crease and outer v and things like that and a lot of people like deep deep shades to provide that complete eye look a lot of people i won't say a lot but you know some people are fine with going with a whole light color all over their lid and outer corner and transition area and all that um but some people a lot of people like a little bit of depth in that outer corner and that crease somewhere in the look okay um and then one thing i would really like and i think i like would like this for every brand but add some people with some deeper skin tones that are going to do eyeshadow looks onto the onto the list you know um and i'm sure they don't know how people are going to use their palettes when they send out the pr but you know, add more deeper skin tone people to the list, okay? And I'm not talking about medium skin tones, nothing wrong with that, but I'm not talking medium dark. I'm talking about dark, like true dark to deep, you know, that type of thing. Um, so that you can get more feedback and then people, you know, can know up front before they spend the money on the eyeshadow palette whether or not it's gonna work for them because a lot of times it's more experimentation. Like if I only see swatches, then I'm like, okay, well, sure that swatch on your arm, but it might look different on the face. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then a medium deep, medium dark skin tone isn't gonna, it's not gonna translate the same one as it is gonna on a dark skin tone person. So, um, but that's just in general. Like I wish Pat McGrath would put somebody on the PR list so that 
we can know before the lease, for the lease, before the launch, how it looks on somebody that is a deeper skin tone. And hey, maybe they do have people on there and the people just ain't doing the looks. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I am very happy with this palette. I'm happy with my purchase. Um, construction of the palette, very nice, very nice and weighty. Everything feels high quality. Artwork is very pretty, very cute. I do not like insects. I don't like bugs. I can't stand them. They're disgusting. And if you come in my house, you're being, and I see you, you're smashed. That's all it is to it. But I think this is cute, okay? It doesn't make my skin crawl or anything like that. It's very cute. So it's up to you. You guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What do you think about the looks that I created with the palette? What do you think about the, um, you know, palette itself? I'm very happy for Mel. Once again, congratulations to her. And, um, yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it if you want to see more content from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button i upload videos on luxury and the occasional indie brand makeup item so um definitely hit the subscribe button i would love to have you a part of the family and welcome to all the new people that have been joining over the past uh, few months thank you guys so much for your support and i will be talking to you guys in my next video um is there anything else i wanted to say about the palette i don't know it's fantastic all right i will talk to you guys really really soon thank you guys so much for watching see ya